Uncut. Today I'm here with my uh, good wrestling pal, Gato. Hello. And uh, we're going to be reacting to the RNC, the Hulk Hogan RNC speech. Now you've already seen a, a clip of this. Yeah, it was everywhere on the wrestling Twitter. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, but I'm very, oh, it's, there we go. All right, but uh, I've heard a little bit about this. It's been a little, it's been a couple of weeks since the RNC, but I, I've been meaning to look at this. Or has it only been a week? I don't know what time it is. But let's, let's take a gander. Real quick thoughts on Hulk Hogan. He's important to the wrestling business, but he's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. He's just a fucking carny, dude. I don't know why everybody keeps giving him chances. We recently uh, reacted to him uh, converting to Christianity. And um, he uh, he tells a couple... Do, he's known for being a liar. Yeah, That is, like, that is his just, big thing. The, yeah, like, not even trying to tell. It's not even, like, flavored with the truth. No, it's just all complete lies. Like, the, oh, I was going to play bass for Metallica after Cliff Burton died. Shut up, you Paul Tony Morris. <laughs> He, my favorite has always been Hulk Hogan had to admit in a court of law that he in fact does not have a 10 inch penis. Um, <laughs> yeah. His his explanation was that Hulk Hogan has a 10 inch penis, but Terry Bollea does not. Um, which it's kind of, it's like we've all seen your outfit, Hulk Hogan. We know you don't have a 10 inch penis. Yeah. Even if you were a grower and not a shower, <laughs> you would be hard to hard to hide in your shorts. <laughs> and of course we when we reacted to his uh converting to christianity he tried to claim that his tattoos were religious but they are not one is about him and the other is a popeye quote a popeye quote he attempted to pass off as a quote from the bible i am so not shitting you he, he went on uh i think it was 700 club again and they like filmed at his house Oh my God. He has that Popeye quote that he's trying to pass off as the Bible quote on his wall now. Like instead of live, laugh, love, it says, I am that I am. Okay. Hulk, let's see what you had. And, to... and he made very sure that that was the first thing they saw when they came into his shitty little house. Oh. God damn it, Hulk. God damn it all right i did not realize this clip was so long uh the wrestling twitter only uh took uh took to that when he rips his shirt and goes oh, trump mania is running wild why can i not expand my window it's so fucking tiny what the fuck it's normally not a problem god damn these stupid updates okay i guess we're gonna be tiny as fuck apparently i'm gonna stick yeah. it to <laughs> you have to make room for Hulk Hogan's presence. Ah, <laughs> oh, I might have to get a new program for future episodes because this because I do not. And now we have more of the speakers. Right. It looks like who are uh, going to be underway, including Hulk Hogan. Let's keep listening. With sunglasses. Yeah, he's. Uh, In the, I mean, he's not wearing the sunglasses, but they are on his head. It does kind of look like it, he looks like he's got like the sentient cap from uh, Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Is he gonna like suddenly like use it to take over members of the RNC? I don't know. Do you think he wants them to be saying USA or do you think he's aiming for something else? Uh, I'm sure he's fine with USA, but it's a little too vague and not enough about him. So he probably wishes they were chanting like, we're not worthy or uh, thank you Hulkster or something like that, which is what people would chant at him during his final WWE run. Oh, Hulk Hogan. He is, he is this very tone deaf man. Well, I mean, I feel like anyone who votes for Trump is a little... Well, let it, hold on. There, there's Trump wearing this, obviously, 
obviously not medically applied. I mean, look at that and thing. And obviously not needed. Like, like I actually like I'm beginning to want to see the medical reports. Like, official sources have said that he what that it was a bullet graze, but like, I am not seeing the evidence. How bad was the bullet graze? It does not seem that bad. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Of course he's in gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did say Hulk Hogan, not Terry Bollea. So. Does he even still use that, like, legally in any sense? Uh, not, I mean, it's for government shit, probably. I've never seen anything saying he's actually changed his name to Hulk Hogan. Some, you gotta wonder. You know something? When I came here tonight, there was so much energy in this room. I felt maybe I was in Madison Square Garden getting ready to win another world title. Or maybe I thought... The vibe was so intense. The energy was so crazy. It felt like maybe I was going to press that no good stinky giant over my head and slam him through the mat, brother. No good stinky giant. But they were best friends, though. Best friends. Do you know, do you know if that quote from Eric, uh, not Eric Andre, Jesus Christ, from uh, Andre the Giant, do you know if it's real, the one where he calls? <laughs> No, Hulk no, Hogan I a piece of shit. Uh, I, I mean, Hulk, it, I've been calling Hogan a piece of shit. I mean, probably said it, but like uh, the thing he was talking about with the then I pinned him and he said, "You're the boss now, brother." Like, I no way, no way. <laughs> I don't think Andre said that. But what I found out was I was in a room full of real Americans, brother. And at the end of the day. With our leader up there, my hero, that gladiator, we're going to bring... Oh, and what do we got over here? Hulk Hogan, professional entertainer and wrestler. I noticed they put entertainer first. Two-time WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Wanted to be Trump's VP in 2016. What? I mean, I could actually see that. That might not be a lie. I, I, I can't judge him too much because I would probably vote for Jesse Ventura. Uh, America back together, one real American at a time, brother. You know something? I've seen some great tag teams in my time. Hulk Hogan and, ooh, yeah, the macho man Randy Savage. Really? It only lasted a month? Yeah, because the whole point of putting them together was so they would feud. Oh, that's hilarious. Like that, that that was just the means to an end. They weren't like a all-time great tag team like he's talking about. He's a fucking <coughs> idiot. He's just putting himself over again. But you know something? I see the greatest tag team of my life standing upon us, getting ready to straighten this country out for all the real Americans. Hulk, when we were children, and you said the and you said real American, I thought you meant all of us. But apparently, you don't. <laughs> uh, never mind. No, even though you guys are real Americans, you better get ready. Because when Donald Dick. I hope they cut back to the section that looked like just bored children again. <laughs> don't make me rewind, YouTube. J. Trump becomes the president of the United States. All the real Americans are going to be nicknamed Trumpites because, because all the Trumpites are going to be running wild for four years. So with the power of Donald... Does he know how alarming that rhetoric is? No. Do you think he realizes what he's saying? I think it's weird that he had all of the... every opportunity to say Trumpomaniacs. <laughs> but, but he didn't, which says to me that he doesn't want Trump anywhere near his shit. So how much does he really love him? Gotta look out for number one, brother. J. Trump and all the Trumpites running wild, America is going to get back on track. And like Donald J. Trump said, America is going to be great again.
the implication the implication that they're, they're gonna like see, like they sound like the fucking bolsheviks <laughs> like they sound like the bolsheviks before they took down the czar shit is crazy you know I, when i look out and i see all the real americans i think about how donald trump it bothers me because the implication is that other people are not americans yeah, it, and, uh, yeah the, uh, his entrance music is, is that real American song? The, the, the chorus is that he fights for the rights of every man. Uh, did not realize uh, how narrow that scope actually was because now he's like, the only people who support Trump are Americans, brother. Well, yeah. I'm not racist, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His family was compromised. When I look out there and I see Donald Trump, I think about how his business was compromised. But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero? And they tried to kill- That shirt that he's wearing, you can buy on the, uh, at the WWE shop. They're probably not gonna be very happy that he's wearing this to a Trump rally. <laughs> This isn't a Trump rally, though. This is the RNC convention. Yeah, they're trying to, like, even though Dana White technically is in charge of WWE now because they did a merger with his streaming service, <laughs> that's what TKO is, uh, he just doesn't put any politics in his stuff, they're probably not going to be all too fine about mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan ripping a shirt that you can buy on their shop. Dana, <laughs> Dana White seems like the kind of guy who would vote Republican, but, like, never talk about it because he does, like, keep politics like out of things yeah that seems like what he, what he would do although they did put the camera on trump when he came uh to wrestlemania with uh not wrestlemania jesus christ the ufc that ufc fight with uh who was he with oh uh that fuck not propagandist uh tucker carlson oh, yeah. and and then bill burr's wife flipped them off <laughs> And then, and then Republicans had like a huge like crybaby pissy match about the fact that she had had the audacity to pit, to flip off the former president. Kill the next president of the United States. Enough was enough. And I said, let Trumpomania run wild, brother. Let Trumpomania rule again. Let Trumpomania make America great again. It's actually really surprising that that is not the end of his speech. Yeah, you, it, there, there, that was like a very logical ending point, And now he's just going to what? babble for another six minutes maybe this is the part that gets racist something trumpites i didn't come here as hulk hogan but like I, it sounds religious yeah yeah and the fact is that it's just weird that he said trump mania is running wild but he's calling them trumpites instead of trump maniacs which leads me to believe that maybe trump said use the word trumpite <laughs> like that was something donald wanted him to say but at the same time donald loves when celebrities acknowledge him so you think he'd want Trump a man Trump a maniac. So this is just weird that he's picking that word. Like yeah. it's possible that neither one of them made the choice. By the way, I heard the other I heard recently that it that Donald that Don Jr. is the reason that they went with JD Vance. <laughs> <laughs> That's which is wild. Like, could you I mean like fucking just coked up Don Jr. Be like, no, no, guys. JD Vance! JD Vance is the future! Apparently, people don't like JD Vance, which is awesome. Well, yeah, because he shit, shit on working class people in his book, The Hillbilly Elegy. Yep. Which, ironically, he wrote to appear poor. 
but I just had to give you a little taste. <laughs> you know, my name, my name is Terry Bollea. Oh, it's taking the, the metaphorical do-rag off, leaving the real one on, though. Of course. <laughs> oh, so maybe that was, so tearing the shirt off was actually the end of the Hulk Hogan part. Yeah. Oh, now geez, we're going he's a, into... He's a showman, that, that old jerk. Now we're going to town, uh, the Terry Baleo part. <sighs> a man who is just so lost in his own sauce. And as an entertainer, I love you too. And as an entertainer, I tried to stay out of politics. But after everything that's happened to our country over the past four years, and everything that happened last weekend, I can no longer stay silent. You're on the fucking 700 club. <laughs> Hulk Hogan not known for shutting the fuck up ever <laughs> i'm here tonight because i want the world to know that donald trump is a real american hero what did he do like this is a serious question what in what way is trump a hero i genuinely have no idea what makes him a hero because he didn't get shot and he raised his fist after. Like what actual actions as president has he done that are heroic? I, I couldn't tell you. It's not heroic to get shot at. Otherwise, you know, people that Donald Trump once made fun of as not heroic would suddenly be really heroic, like John McCain. And I'm proud to support my hero as the next president of this United States. How is he your hero, Hulk? Like, like what, what the, what the, like what the fuck did, what the fuck did Trump do to make him your hero specifically, Hulk? Give tax cuts to the obscenely wealthy. But like tax cuts aren't even heroic. There's nothing heroic about tax cuts. They are at best just like balancing of numbers and like at worst, just clearly giving kickbacks to the super wealthy. It's, there's nothing heroic about taxes. Even if I had a positive opinion of giving tax cuts, they still wouldn't be quote unquote heroic. You know, guys, I've known Donald Trump for over 35 years. You, you know, hold on a second, hold on. I just had a flashback. I just had a flashback, man. This is... Hey, bud. Yeah, that's all the brain damage. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's the problem. The CTE makes him think that Donald Trump did something heroic. Really tripping. You know, the last time I was up on stage, him, Donald man. Trump was sitting at ringside at the Trump Plaza. I was bleeding like a pig, and I won the world title right in front of Donald J. Trump. And you know something? I'll have to look into that. I know what match he's talking about, but I don't think there's a title involved. I would have to look into it, though. He's claiming, whatever it was, he's claiming it was his last match. Was his last match for a title? No. If he's talking about like his most his recent WWE run, he just did like one off appearances occasionally. And then he went on the road in Australia of all places with like just a company called Hulkamania Wrestling, where the main event was him and Ric Flair wheezing all over each other. Well, then it's definitely not true yeah, that so, it was his last yeah. time on stage. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, obviously, fucking uh, uh, lying. Here and Donald Trump's a fucking idiot. So you're gonna be like, oh, I have done that. Yeah, man, would you? Let's see here. Like, I thought he was talking about the match that he had uh, when they were at the Garden for Mania one year, and Donald Trump was like, not even in the front row. <laughs> he was like in the first couple, but he wasn't in the front. And they just showed him on camera for a second, and he waved. <laughs> According to this, this is weird that yahoo answers 
gave this as his last appearance. And I don't know if this is accurate. Let me know if this is accurate. His last official match was a six-man tag team win on TNA Impact's Maximum Impact Tour of England in January of 2012. Yeah, that seems right. Last match they actually wrestled, yeah. Because that because when he wrestled John Michaels, that was like 2006, and then he wrestled Randy Orton before that, and that was like, what, like 05 maybe? <laughs> so it couldn't be either of those. Apparently he was talking about wrestling again at WrestleMania 40 in 2023. No, that was never in talks ever. He may have wanted to, but they weren't going to bring Hulk Hogan back to wrestle. So Jesus like Christ. his story is... 100 percent a lie like yeah, his yeah, story so is so not lying real. but republicans love lies so especially if they sound nice that's oh my god what the fuck hulk he's gonna win in november and we're all gonna be champions again when he wins and like i said wait no no no, no. it's just this is just the brainwashing yeah. We're all going to be champions. It's like that stupid shit where sports fans feel accomplished when their sports team wins, even though they did literally fucking nothing. Except buy merch and look at the games. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolute. Like, dear, dear people, if you fall for that, please reevaluate certain parts of your life. Your sports team's accomplishments are not yours. Please try harder but it's fine to get me excited if the team yes. like wins that's fine to be clear i'm not saying you can't be happy i'm saying it's not a con it's not an accomplishment not for you you won nothing i've known that man for over 35 years and he's always been the biggest patriot and he still is he's always told you exactly what he thought and he still does brother can you be a patriot and like spread racist rumors about the president at the same time? Uh, on paper, no, but in practice, apparently, yes, according to Republicans. <laughs> because he was really, really fucked up on Obama for a long time. And like the shit he said about him did not feel patriotic at all. Oh, also, he's a draft dodger. <laughs> Although he, I mean, who knows? Maybe he really does have bone spurs. And no matter the odds, he always finds a way to win. And when he's back in our White House, America is going to start winning again. Winners don't normally go bankrupt their companies 13 times. You know, guys, over my career, I've been in the ring with some of the biggest, some of the baddest dudes on the planet. And I've squared off against warriors. Ooh, yeah, savages. And I've even, like I said, body slammed giants in the middle of the ring. And I know tough guys. But let me tell you something, brother. Donald Trump is the toughest of them all. So this doughy little fuckhead that eats nothing but fast food and Diet Coke. Uh, he could, he's the toughest guy I've ever met. Me, Hulk Hogan. A guy who didn't fight in Vietnam. A guy who has admittedly never had a fight in his whole life. He admitted that in his Logan Paul interview that Donald Trump has never had a physical fight with anyone. Donald Trump is not tough. At least not in any way that is comparable to anything that Hulk Hogan could potentially be talking about. They've thrown everything at Donald Trump. All the investigations, the impeachments, the court cases, and he's still standing and kicking their butts. But by those measurements, Hillary Clinton is also really tough. Yeah, she's had way more losses than Donald. And the Republicans tried to investigate her all the fucking time.
Do they, do they not remember he used to like have a shirt that said lock her up on it? Like mm-hmm. she sat in she was she was questioned for eleven hours about Benghazi. Donald Trump never showed up to any of his own hearings. You know, we never had it better than the Trump years. Back then citation fucking needed. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know, man. I was pretty poor as fuck during Trump. We had a thriving economy. We had strong borders. We had safe streets. We had peace and respect. We have safe streets Uh, now. We have safe streets now. I lived in a metropolitan area in one of the darkest red states that exists. Uh, Let me tell you, no, the streets were not safe. The streets are never safe. Oh, statistically, we are in a, we are still in a period of exceptionally low crime. Respect around the world, but then we lost it all in a blink of an eye. Crime is out of control. The- not citation needed. Hulk Hogan doing Republicans' favorite thing, just saying things that they wish were true and and, and accepting it as fact. There is no ridiculous crime wave going on right now, people. Crime is has been going down for years. In fact, crime, interestingly enough, has been going down since we took lead out of gasoline. Do you understand the implication? But the point is, is that crime is going down. Chill out. The border is out of control. The price of food and gas. And There is a humanitarian crisis on our borders because a couple of uh, Central American countries have collapsed or have basically collapsed. Venezuela is still technically there. Although, for how long, we don't know. Sounds like their election is a shit, went, turned into a shit show. So, we'll see how long Venezuela's still around. And housing is out of control. And the only person who can clean this up is Donald Trump. I, the first time I remember looking at housing prices and going, how the fuck am I ever going to afford that? It was in 2010, Hulk. So... what's that tell you bud yeah no housing prices have been a problem for like two decades he needs it's just it's just all the same tired unsubstantiated talking points i really wish republicans would require some level of substantiation about their talking points you know guys i really really love this country and I've lived the American dream. And I want my kids, your kids, and all those little teeny Hulkamaniacs out there to live the American dream too. I promise you that. I mean, there are probably a aside, few... from, aside from that third grader you like to trot out on your Instagram that, that thinks you're cool, there are no children who like Hulk Hogan. There are barely children who like John Cena anymore. That's where we're at. <laughs> At least not mainstream children. Yeah. Like there's probably just a few like ultra nerdy, probably on the spectrum children who are obsessed with old wrestling, possibly because it helped them connect with their father or something. I yeah. don't know. This November, guys, we can save the American dream for everyone. Right. And Donald Trump is the president who will get the job done. So all you criminals, all you lowlifes, all you scumbags, all you drug dealers, and all you crooked politicians need to answer one question, brother. What you gonna do when Donald Trump and all the trump maniacs run wild on you, brother? He was saving it for the end. (laughs) God bless you, and thank you. Hi, I'm JT and I made Result Hunter, the search engine for conservatives. Let me just tell you what it does. First of all, big tech right now is run by a bunch of elitist people who all happen to vote the same way and who all happen to live in huge cities uh, on the West Coast. And so Result Hunter takes those elitist values and elitist sources 
and kind of pushes them down a little bit in the search engine. Meanwhile, it takes those sources of truth that we believe have been deranked a little bit by Google talking about and it pushes those up a bit. And the main thing oh that you'll God, gain from using the search engine is that your ad reaction. revenue that you generate by going all over the web will be much more likely to support conservatives and cons things that support conservative values rather than things that support elitist and liberal cultural values. So thank you. Think Please use resultshunter.com if you're think conservative. About, hit try now to shit. go over there, uh, and it'll become your default when you hit That's add insane. to browser and this follow the instructions. See you what at resultshunter.com. What you are doing is insane. Oh, my God. You see just a bunch. Here's, here's just a handful of conservative children who look confused by what's going on. And they don't look excited to see Hulk Hogan. Like, oh my God, that's the Hulk Hogan. They're just like, okay, I've look, heard that name before. Look I at guess. the blank faces on these teenagers. Yeah. There's a reason we didn't cut back to this. Oh, wait, are any of these Trump's kids? Because uh, this be. appears to be, because Trump's general family seems to be in this general area. Wait, where's his yeah, wife? This might be, might be some Trump grandkids, maybe. Where the fuck is his wife? But that's not his wife, is it? No. Nah. No, that's not his wife. Melania doesn't go to events. Dude. Like she barely wanted to be first lady. You had to kick her, you had to fucking bother her to get her to do anything. Dude. If they suddenly get divorced, I'll just assume he's going to jail. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that's what I wanted to see. All right. Okay. So that was wow okay so let's collect our thoughts on this um first of all kind of disturbing like kind of disturbing rhetoric like it's definitely a very much like they're creating a running entirely on a us versus them narrative which is alarming and also like a self a self-fulfilling prophecy because once you start turning it into that then like everyone else has to almost defensively be part of that narrative because suddenly it's like these guys are saying the, that it's us versus th them versus us oh shit we better stand up for us now that they're declaring that they are against us and so that's very concerning and trump i mean <laughs> hulk hogan is playing directly in to that shit like calling them Trumpites. I mean, that sounds vaguely religious in a weird way. Like, uh, yeah. Oh, and of course, he had a flashback. Do you think, do you think Hulk Hogan did acid? Nah. He seems more like just like a Coke and booze kind of guy. I mean, he was, he was a, he was a musician. So we never know, but that's like during the flashback part, he he almost seemed like he was implying he was having an acid flashback, which seems not right. Um, but uh, God damn, yeah, just alarming propaganda from uh, Hulk Hogan. That's uh, really all we're looking at here. Any other thoughts? Not really. He didn't really say anything. It was just quoting himself and then making up a story, making up a story and then more quoting himself and then just the same bullshit that you can see in any Facebook comments section on a local news channel. <laughs> there was no point in having him up there. Nobody seemed to give a fuck that he was up there. Even the people in the bracket that would know who he is and still think he's relevant. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's all the most embarrassing celebrities love trump it's terrible yeah i want to say that this was kind of sad but like it's literally just hulk hogan coming out and doing all the rhetoric in his hulk hogan voice like it's just which he can't do that well anymore apparently <laughs> And he did that big thing where he's like, oh, now this is serious. This is Terry Bollea talking to you, brother. And then he goes right back into the Hulk Hogan shit. So it's like... Yeah, no. <laughs> ended with trump maniacs Which he seemed to go out of his way to not say before, but then he had no problem saying it at the end. 
maybe he just has like you gotta keep him waiting brother i'm gonna save the i'm gonna save it for the end because it'll really pop maybe i don't know that's the only theory i have on why he would do that and instead use trumpite which like like sounds culty it does it does sound culty like like it is so wild to me that christians are this wrapped up in trump like he has an r next to his name that's all the fuck they care about it's more than that though because because they turn on republicans who don't support him like i don't know like i don't understand what his his like how he has such a grip on his demos testicles that they are just this much under his control that they are this into his cult of personality. And maybe that's because I'm not the type of person who is prone to cults of personality. I tend to view people as just people. They've got good things going on and they got flaws. But like, I, I just, I don't understand it. I mean, I've never been a big celebrity person either. So like, maybe that's part of it. Also, have you ever noticed the people that do end up having cults of personality are always like narcissistic? Yeah, makes sense though. Like, why are people drawn to narcissists? Like, what is the appeal? Because a lot of people uh, confuse narcissism with confidence. Yeah. No, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only, th that's the only thing I can think of, y'all. And dear, if there are any conservatives watching at this point, which I don't think there will be, I assume that most of you just stop long enough to call me a cuck and... Uh, well, actually, a lot of you just see the purple nails and you're like, this guy's got purple nails. Come on, guys. I I did this on purpose. I I know. It, it, it's not like it's not like a defect I was born with. What what do you do you think I'm gonna be offended that you commented about it? Come on, get real. Um I'm saying it's a filter. It filters out you. <laughs> um but that that ad that we caught totally by chance with the uh with the conservative search thing like that's the last thing you guys need that's the last thing you conservatives need come on no you need to see more see when i condemn people on the right i'm normally doing it based on things i've heard people on the right say um if you are just shutting out like the left's voices completely where where are you going with that like you're gonna create a you're gonna create an alternate reality that you're gonna live in it's not gonna be good for you and it's not gonna be good for america if you continue to pursue this whole oh yeah well we're gonna make our own wikipedia with with conservative beliefs there's no liberal wikipedia it's just Wikipedia. <laughs> if the mainstream is too liberal for you, maybe assess what shit is real on your side. Because let me tell you, as, as a crazy leftist, I think the mainstream is fairly conservative, but I don't go write socialistopedia. I don't create my own search engine that will only give me the top Marxist answers. It's, it's not a thing that I would do because that would be insane and masturbatory. It's really masturbatory that you would want to do that. You're creating an internet safe space for your beliefs. They're doing, they're, they're doing that with everything now, those conservatives. Like there's a wine delivery service that, that only conservative wine. It's true. Like <laughs> what? Only conservative like, I'm a, wine. I'm an alcoholic, but I only want to drink fermented grape juice from people who are afraid of brown people. <laughs> That's how I like. Also, you have to understand it's a capitalist grift. Yeah, it's all that it is. But like, they love capitalism. You see, because <laughs> the reality is, is that it's hard to break into markets that already exist. But what they found is that a major thing you can do to like gain a footing in the market is to start branding yourself a certain way. So, oh, we can't compete with those chocolate bars over there. Hold on, guys. What if the Daily Wire sold our own chocolate bars and we made it part of a political statement? 
that conservatives would want to buy those chocolate bars. All we got to do is say that other candy is woke. Okay. By the way, Daily Wire really did this with chocolate bars. They yeah. were like called him and hers chocolate bars or yeah, something. I've, yeah, I've seen that. To make a point about pronouns or something. It's, and fucking Jeremy Boring sells razor blades. Oh my God. This is a grift. When we make products specifically for groups, that is an attempt to get customers. It's just an attempt to motivate them because then it looks like, well, it, I mean, it's essentially a virtue signal. And what's hilarious is that conservatives lose their mind when corporations do this to like, the big example would be gay people. And they're like, you know, it's not real. Well, yeah, no, gay people know it's not real. That's why the gay memes also make fun of it. But they're doing it to you. Like, you're not going to win the culture war by creating your own separate culture. You're just going to isolate yourselves from the rest of reality. So maybe think about that before you do that crazy shit. Also, those things are always sold with conspiracy theories. Have you ever noticed that those things are always sold with conspiracy theories? Yep. They don't want you to know. The global elite don't want you to know about this trick that makes your penis bigger. That's a real thing. I've seen that ad. I've, I've literally seen an ad. It wasn't global elite in the ad, but it was like, feminists don't want you to know how to make your penis bigger. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, man. So, yeah, don't do it. You are being indoctrinated into a cult. <clears throat> All right. Any other thoughts, Gatto? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful whatever, wherever you are. I guess say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Adios. <laughs> I did it in the reverse order. <laughs>